on a windy day like today, this is especially if you're playing with the wind back there, I think this is where your forehand is very good because you do have good control over it. I think this is where you shine. So the, all the stuff that I told you a few days ago where you're kind of low to the ground, you play with spin, you have good ball control, all that is coming in your favor. Like someone that's like more of a flat ball striker is going to struggle on a day like today because it's extremely windy. So this is, your forehand today is perfect. I'm going to put you on this side uh, and you can hit some from this side and we'll because see what's going on. This is against the wind so you can hit out a little bit more. You're using your body, but I'll try to use your body even more. Okay. So just when you hit these like soft ones, you don't have a lot of pace coming your way. So this way you have to use your body a lot. Look so you, like you, you, you're, you're using your body good, but do it even more. And let's see what happens. Like literally throw yourself into the ball. And let's just see what happens. Okay. Like rip it a little harder. Five more, one, two, three, four, five. That was a lot better. And guess what? Now you were completely airborne. And the body was involved so it's just a, a little bit more violent movement there like using your body you know how to do it like you don't need to learn how to do it you already know how to do it you just have to do it because your muscle memory in the last six years was just to stand and just to control here exactly. maneuver the ball now like use your body more yeah because your mechanics are good you just yeah. like the right there that was a lot better that was great. so anytime you get a floating ball you have to hit it like that five more one two Three, four, five. See, the way you hit your forehands on a, when a ball is softer, theoretically, you could hit your forehand like that all the time. You know? That's like down the road, I think something that you want to think about to engage your body on all forehands. Not just when the ball doesn't have any pace, but on yeah. all but on all forehands, just to be a little bit to more use to use your body a little bit more because you're gonna get more a lot more power that way. And not only that, but you actually get more control because the, the arm is supported by the body and doesn't have to work too much in isolation, right? Yeah. Also, what I always thought with you, one of your strengths that I observe, and that's also gonna play well in doubles, swing volleys on both sides, forehand and backhand. That's one of your strengths, right? So, so definitely like continue to work on those and continue to keep them sharp because that's something that you can use a lot.
back to the middle. Six. Seven. Run back to the middle. Go, 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 go. Eight. Nine. Back to the middle. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Come, 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 come. Okay, are you ready to go for full out? One more. Okay, yes. go ahead and go full out. Okay, go again. More time. So Emma, there's a there's some potential for more power on the serve by using the body. So you have what I call a J-serve. So when you bend like this, your torso is straight, but your knees are bent. And also from the front, it's a very straight up and down position. So you bend, but your body's not leaning much. So you don't have a lot of curvature in your body. So without the curvature, you're gonna obviously straight, straighten the legs. So think if you bent your upper body, there's basically two ways to bend it. You can bend it like this, sticking the hip out, and you can bend backwards a little bit. If you bend the upper body too, and then the legs are obviously gonna to continue to bend. Now, you're gonna bend the bottom and the top together, and there's a little bit more potential for power. So the backward bend is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do, but the forward bend is gonna be a little bit easier. So I would like you to try to put your hip slightly into the court. When you come, when you come in here, you put your, hold on, when you put your back foot up, to the front foot then you actually put a little bit around which is okay here you you slightly put your hip forward like this you understand what i'm saying so instead of you going like this what you're doing now this is you right now okay yeah. you're going to try to go a little bit more like this okay. or maybe even like this a little bit more you're loading the top half a little bit more there you go like that so that when you when you get into that loading position your body is a little bit more like a C rather than an I. So you don't want it to be straight here? Like a, not straight, but so when I'm here, you don't want this to be like... It can be straight. Cannot? It can. It can be straight. There's just a different style. I want you to try it out okay. and see, what you, see if you like it. Okay. This is more of a style, not necessarily a fundamental. Because even when you're straight, you still have the option to bend a little bit more back and to lean forward. So there's a lot of options here to do. Okay, but right now I feel like you're underutilizing the, the upper body a little bit on your serve. Okay, you're underutilizing the top half. Okay, that was better. That was better. Now let's try to get the hip a little bit more into the court. Maybe the hardest serve you hit so far. Am I? That's more power. Yes, that was so hard. Give me one more with the hip. Emma, <laughs> it's faster, right? Did you see that? Now, I hope it's not the wind that's blowing behind you. Oh my you. God, no, it's a combination, but I, I did four in a row. It's Beautiful, like, like 10, miles an hour, 10 miles an hour faster than and normal. And they're in, and they're in placement too. I wanted to hit Y, T, okay. Y, T. When you come back, we're going to continue to work on the serve. Just, like I said, your forehand and your serve has a lot of potential for more power. Yeah. Okay, good work. I got work on both. You keep going. I got work on placement. We placement on, of what? Everything. Uh, the shots. Okay, shot. you, you go to fitness. Go. I'll pick up. Hey guys, so I might have to leave and go to fitness, but I'm gonna tell you my opinion on Emma's comeback, and this can stay between me and you. Emma won't hear this, but here's my biggest worry about Emma's comeback regarding singles. I'm not too worried about doubles. I think uh, she could do, she can do quite well in doubles. She has the right strengths to succeed in WTA doubles. Like she's really good at swing volley. She's good at the net. She returns well. She's a spot server. But the thing about singles on the WTA tour, 
what Emma needs to improve is the following. She needs to get more explosive, and I told her this right before she went off to her fitness session, that she needs to improve her first two, three steps out of the blocks, reaction time, and also recovery time. So after she hits a shot, recovering, those first two, two, three steps, she needs to get a lot faster in those because if she plays somebody who's super aggressive, a power player, she's gonna get eaten up. Can you tell this guy to work on your explosiveness? Yeah, this one. Like this, this right here. That, yeah. Like those first two steps. That and when you hit, recovery. Okay. Also, Emma is a very consistent player, but she's lacking a little bit of power. So what I'm gonna work on is fine-tune her technique so that she can maximize her power potential on her serve, her forehand, and her backhand so that she doesn't always have to rely on her grittiness and her mental strength to win matches, but that she can also get some free points here and there because my worry is that if she plays against a very strong power hitter, that someone like that can blow Emma off the court. So Emma needs to hold her own and develop a little bit more power on her shots. And that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna to try to maximize Emma's power and let's see what happens. You guys are gonna come along for the ride.